So now the question is, why does this thing bind up when it goes around the other way? So if one of the rollers or a couple of the rollers were causing the problem, why does it always do it in the same spot? It always binds in the same spot. In other words, if this center of this shaft is perfectly centered in this outer race, then that shouldn't make a difference. It should bind. If it was a roller that was causing the binding, the binding should continue all the way around. And then when I had this apart before and I put it together when it first was binding, it was binding in the same area. And when I took it apart and I put it back together, I guarantee you I didn't get all those rollers in the same exact position. I moved them all around. And yet I still have that problem in the same position. So that's leading me to believe that there's a problem with that race. That the race is the issue. But even that, if, a, if a, one spot on this race was tighter, then... Alright, so now I've knocked the shaft out some. So the rollers are halfway out of the race, and it still binds in the same position. So maybe now I can uh, get a little bit of investigating done here and see what I, what I can figure out. Let's push it to where it's binding pretty badly, which is uh, right up here, and see if any of these rollers are tight. All right, quite a few of these are loose. I can wiggle them pretty, pretty decent, move them around. Except for like this one here is tight. This one's tight. Oddly enough, the original one between him is okay. I think I'm gonna have to do some measurements on the OD on some of these. Again, it's kind of weird. Why wouldn't that be? I wonder if this race isn't fully seated. The race isn't fully seated, then it might be cocked in the bore a little bit, and that certainly could give me trouble. What I need to do is I need to see if I can somehow get a look at the back side here and see if it's fully seated. I can stick my fingernail in the back here, but I can't tell if there's a gap or not. No, that doesn't seem to be the issue. It seems like it's bottomed out all the way around. Well, I've checked the uh, OD on the contact surfaces of every one of my old main rollers, and it's okay. Which I kind of figured it would be, because that was drill stock that I used, and it was the right OD. I then went and checked every single one of these um, by sitting it on the, uh, the little clip here that sits in the middle, that ridge that sticks up, and making sure there was clearance, enough clearance underneath that. And, uh, because that's what I thought was going on before, but that's not the case. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Again, if this was out of round, then I would expect it to bind all the way around, not just the one spot. It's kind of weird. Okay, I decided I want to try something different. I been trying to alternate the original rollers with the replacement rollers. This time what I did was I put all the original rollers that I had left on one side next to each other and then filled in the other side what was left with the uh, the homemade rollers. I'm not sure what kind of difference that's going to make but just for the heck of it just try something different. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the clip on I'm going to try and insert it in this way backwards so that I can actually just see if I can get it to rotate freely if the shaft is not inserted into the supporting bushing down the other end. Alright, so I've inserted it in backwards and I don't have this clip on and it actually is working the way I want it to, which is interesting. So the question is, is it working now because the shaft isn't in the bushing? In other words, is there something 
that when it's inserted in through the uh, supporting bushing, it's not able to uh, travel correctly? In other words, is it, is it like not rotating on its center correctly? Now I've got it, look at that, I've got it all the way in there. It's working beautifully. Oops. Huh. Or is it because I've got this clip off? Is this clip doing something weird? Or is it because I rearranged the rollers? I don't know. All right, let me try and reinsert it in the correct way with the clip off. Okay, so now I've got it inserted with the clip off and guess what? Still binding in the same spot. So my problem is not clearance. My, my problem is something is rotten in Denmark with the relationship between this bushing and what it's doing to the shaft. In other words, all right, I got to see whether or not the shaft has a bend in it. If the shaft has a bend in it, that, that would explain something. And then uh, the other possibility is that that bushing is, boy, I tell you, that bushing can't really be cocked in the bore. That's just kind of crazy. I mean, the, the bushing's this deep. How's it going to be cocked in the bore? That's not going to be it. It's got to be something else. Well, this isn't so badly bent that I can see it with the naked eye. If this does have a bend in it, the only way I'm going to be able to find it is if I were able to, well, if I had a lathe, I could mount this between two centers. And then, uh, you know, what I would like to have is a dial indicator that I could with a magnetic base and an arm that comes over and would touch a point here and then rotate it and see uh, how uh, how true it is. That would be in a perfect world, but I don't have that. My retired machinist friend, he'd have the lathe, but he's not going to have, I don't think he's going to have a dial indicator. He's not into that kind of precision anymore these days. I used to have a dial indicator, but we had a problem with water in the basement one time when we had a bad tropical storm a couple of years ago, and that toolbox, unfortunately, with those machinist tools in it was uh, on the ground, and they got damaged, so they had junk. Well, I remember when I put this bushing in that this was tight on here, even... You know, it was tight on there even before I tried putting the uh, the bearings in. And I remember thinking I was going to just live with that. But now I'm wondering whether or not that, that tightness is insufficient clearance, and that's what's giving me a problem here. And in the service manual that I have, it talks about that quite possibly after installation of the new bushing, you may have to burnish the new bushing to the proper uh, clearance or the proper ID so you have proper clearance. So I'm wondering whether or not if I restore the proper clearance there whether or not that will solve my other problem. But, I mean I just inserted this in there from this direction. I mean that doesn't seem bad at all. It seems nice you know it's it's I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to have a little bit of play. Well, it actually does. Now that I, if I hold this really steady and rock the shaft, I can feel a little bit of play in there. So I don't think it's insufficient clearance there. You know, as I pull it back out, that's when it gets really tight, is right here near this end. So I think I want to try and dress this up a little bit. 
Well, let me try the wire wheel on it. I don't want to get too aggressive. Well, that didn't seem to make much difference, but I did insert it all the way from this side to where it would be normally in. And uh, it's pretty smooth, but what I'm noticing is it sure looks to me like the space, space between the uh, inner surface and the uh, outer race there changes as you rotate this which would explain my problem can't be definitive but it looks that way the center hole looks like it's moving that it's not staying centered as I rotate it I kind of can't I don't know it's kind of hard to tell and it's also there is a little bit of play in there which is what you would think would help out with my issue here but it's not working it's weird putting it together again but I get a feeling it's still not gonna work because I'm already noticing that it seems like when I put it in this position which is the position where it was able to rotate more freely before I'm able to slide it in and if I rotate it back around the other way uh, where it didn't want to rotate freely I'm having difficulty getting it to go in so I think that that's uh, just more of an indication that I think my problem lies in this shaft not being true any longer that it's got to bend in it somewhere which is really unfortunate I think what happened was I found that you know if you remember back about 10 videos ago uh, when I took this apart uh, a lot of these rollers were broken they were snapped in half and I think what had happened was uh, those broken pieces were getting in between the teeth uh, as these teeth mesh with teeth on the lever shaft. And I can imagine that when somebody was trying to force the wheel to turn with those pieces stuck in there, I could imagine how that could cause this shaft to get bent just the slightest amount, but definitely enough to ruin my day. Yep, as I suspected. Right back to where I was before. Tightens up right there. And right about there. So it only has free range of movement through this range right here. Which is close to what it needs to be. Except for the fact that I need these, these, these teeth to be facing that way. So they can engage the other teeth. So... This is not going to work. So let's think about this for a second. Let's pretend that the other gear was here. And this gear was meshing with it. And material got stuck between the two teeth. That would cause this shaft to bend that way. So if these teeth were facing down right now, which I can't orient because it doesn't want to turn that way, I would expect that it is now bent this way. So these rollers right here are probably the ones that are tight right now. And these should be the ones that would be loose right now. If I were a bit man. Yeah. Actually, these over here on the side are loose. These on the top are loose. These are tight. And these are tight. Ah. I think I'm going to have to enlist the aid of a professional machine shop to check the trueness of this shaft and, if possible, straighten it.